Welcome back. Connecting an LLM to QGIS through MCP is pretty powerful. It means you can create full maps from a single prompt, like the one you can see on the screen right now. But the thing is, large language models aren't exactly well known for the sense of geography. So in this video, I'm going to give Claude a little help. We're going to add OpenStreetMap MCP, and that will allow us to plug in real spatial data. In short, we're going to turn Claude from a flat earther into Mercator. Here I am in QGIS. I've got the QGIS MCP plugin installed and I'll start the server. Over in Claude, I'll just double check that the OSM MCP server is off and that the QGIS MCP server is on. That all looks good. Now for Claude, I'm going to give it a fairly simple prompt and just ask it to locate some well-known landmarks in Leeds. I'll also tell it what my working directory is. So I've got four locations that I wanted to find in Leeds. Let's see how he does. I can see in this part of the code, because it's explaining what it's up to, it is going to define the locations with approximate coordinates in Leeds. So I'm not expecting these to be very good at all. Okay, so it's done it. It's going to give me a rundown at the end and tell me what it has achieved. One thing that I've noticed with the QGIS MCP and Claude is that it's very bad at layer ordering. So if I move lead strip points above, we can actually see where things should be. So let's zoom in here and have a look at the Ox Club. That is not in the right location at all. Leeds train station, yeah, we can deal with that. The corn exchange, not quite. The corn exchange is this circular building here. And then Leeds Playhouse, not at all. Leeds Playhouse is, oh, it would help if I knew where it was. I think Leeds Playhouse, yeah, it's down here. Okay, so Claude has not done very well just using QGIS MCP alone. What I'm gonna do next is turn on the OSM MCP and see how Claude fares then. So I've started a new project. I have put in the same prompt. I have just added a little bit to the end, set the map CRS to EPSG 27700. And then in the tools, I am going to set OSM MCP server to be on. And then I would like to send this and we'll see how Claude does this time around. So we start with geocoding. This is one of the tools available in OSM MCP. So it's tried a few different ways to locate the Ox Club. It's looked for buildings with the tags amenities uh, and not been able to find that nearby. So instead, now it's gone for a web search and found its actual address and it's going to plug that into the geocoder instead. Okay, it's finished and it's done some unexpected things. Let's check out what I asked it for first of all. Leeds train station, that looks all right. That is bang on. And then if we go to the corn exchange, again, very good. The Ox Club looks very close. The Ox Club's kind of in the back here. All the baked Alaska you can shake a stick at. And then Leeds Playhouse finally. Yep, bang on. So far, far better at locating things with the OSM MCP on. Now this trip route, I did not ask for this trip route, but it has provided some weird uh, line file that shows me what order to go to each of these in. There's some extra lines in there as well. The EPSG is not set correctly. It did it initially, but in my settings on QGIS, the first layer added will actually dictate the EPSG. So it switched back to 4326. I could include something there to ask it to check at the end and also potentially ask it to put points at the top, then lines, then polygons, then base map. 
Now let's try Claude out with a bit of a tougher task. I'm going to ask it to use OSM MCP and find the locations of EV charging stations within five kilometers of Leeds Civic Hall. Create a map, style it up, and make sure that that CRS is at 27700. Now while this is running, it had a look for Leeds Civic Hall and then found the EV charges. It tries to write this to a GeoJSON and there was a bit of an error there, but it worked out how to get around that off its own back. Added them to the map, styled them up, and then once again gets the layer order wrong and puts OSM on top. So pretty neat what it can do there. I wonder how good the 5K buffer is and also exactly where lead Civic Hall is. But some interesting work done by Claude. Are you using any MCPs in your own GIS work? I'd be really interested to know about what else is out there. The OpenStreetMap one is, is definitely of interest. And should you like, comment and subscribe? Well, as Claude says, that's entirely up to you.